hello guys we meet again in this third or final video tutorial of our simple for plan in LibreCAD I'm going to show you how to add hedge text and dimension info but first as you can see I have add a more room or area on our floor plan I add office this office and storage toilet and then stair I also add door and window element here I'm not gonna show you how I do that because it's just a basic tool that I already show you on my first and second video I will put the link below on my description if you want to see it I'm gonna use wall layer for the hedge and this is um, on hedge you just um, I mean unlike AutoCAD you can pick a point on object in Rebricad you just need to select object so let's just I mean this is heads sorry this is heads icon and then you select the object or you can select first and click icon and this time I'm gonna uh, add a solid fill because this is a column of course you can change your head uh, symbol here we have the I mean we could have a clay here or for the stone brick stone solid fill like that and then okay and one that you have to pay attention is this is a draft symbol so you need to make sure this draft symbol is deactive like this because if you active this draft tool the heads will disappear or not display I'm just gonna copy and place all the heads that I have maybe multiply I have two like this and I have uh, two more heads in this column area and I'm gonna add again four now it's all fill our column object you need to create a rectangle hedge again and solid copy I'm going to speed up this uh, video as you can see here I already have all my heads on the position I want now we will add some text on our drawing canvas here so adding text is, is quite easy just click on M text icon here and you write on the text field I'm gonna write this one meeting room and then the fonts 
I advise you to use standard and then you can change the height here and then the alignment and angle here so I'm just gonna click OK and click on the position you want and I'm gonna add another let's see text here uh, toilet and then we place here like this We will add dimension info. Gonna maybe just choose a default layer, zero layer. And first, you need to open your current drawing preferences. Go to dimension. This is where you need to change all the property, like uh, the scale of the text uh, i mean the dimension text the position here text style text height text alignment here and then extension lines offset and then if you want to uh, change the size of the arrow or tick size the color and if you want to change the linear unit like this one dimension uh, dimension separator I like to change to period and then usually I just leave it like here like this because when I add dimension info if I found something that I don't like the setting I will change the right in this uh, driving preference so just okay and click on measure icon here and if you want to add vertical the um, distance I'm just gonna click here and like this we have a uh, 500 centimeter click again the we uh, lubricant don't have a snap on dimension arrow so it's you just need to use your feeling i guess like this And if you change your direction, you need to change to horizontal first. And I maybe let's let's see. Oh no, it's not snap so just gonna click there of course you can use uh, either direction here if you have a circle you need to know a, a radial or diametric dimension you can use all the option here okay I think that's it Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.